Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a really important video all about the importance of goal setting and different ways to make goal setting really easy and fun and really achievable. So I really wanna help you guys reach all your goals and I wanna make it as easy as possible. For me, I've always felt that setting goals, it's something that I try to do regularly. Like I try to reset my goals every three months three to six months um, just to make sure I'm still on the right track and to just track my progress. But it really has been a game changer for me. Like the first time I really started setting goals in my life was when I was 14 years old and that was like the first time I wanted to really get into like health and fitness. I was a bit overweight. I was really overweight. And I was like, you know what? I really want to get healthy and strong. So I put together a plan and it was crazy. Within one year I had a complete transformation and I really was able to get what I wanted. So that's when I really fell in love with the art of goal setting. So I want to make sure that we make this super easy and fun and hopefully teach you guys something new. I know there's a lot of great content out there for goal setting, but I'm going to just show you, you know, the processes that I use and hopefully you guys can use it too. So before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy it. It really does help me with the algorithm on YouTube and it helps kind of push the video. So comment, like, share, whatever you can do. I really do appreciate it. So I also want to touch up on the importance of goal setting and why I feel it's so important. I have lived my life both ways. I've lived my life where I really had a lot of structure and plans and I had a lot of goals set for myself and I've also lived my life where I've kind of been a little bit more relaxed and carefree and I have to tell you it's like two different people. Like when I am really disciplined and I really take the time to set goals and set plans for myself, it's just crazy how much progress I get in my life. And same person, me, you know, when I don't set goals and I don't track my progress and I don't have that discipline to really just, you know, have my plans in place, I don't get anywhere like it's like almost stagnant and if not stagnant you're even like moving behind because I do believe in life you're always in motion and you're either moving ahead or you're moving behind there's no like standing still so honestly if you're not setting goals you're probably going to just fall off track not to freak you guys out it is so important and I just want to mention this because I just want to highlight you know how much it's changed my life and really I can't I can't express to you guys enough that this is really important and nothing happens by coincidence. You know, all the people that you see who are your role models or the people that you look up to, trust me, they've had a lot of plans in place, a lot of discipline. There really is no such thing as luck. So really, your life is in your hands. You have the ability to make whatever you want happen. You just have to take the action and start planning and mapping everything out. Another reason why I really believe that goal setting is so important is because I really do feel like it's super motivating. Like every time I'm feeling a little bit low energy, a little bit like maybe depressed or flat, I just go to my goal sheet and I'm like, okay, let's re-energize this, let's refresh it, let's reset some goals, or even look at my old goals and just refocus on them because maybe I lost track, maybe I lost focus. So it's really an amazing tool for just motivating yourself. And um, sometimes I, when I am disciplined, I look at them every single day. So then I can really just know what areas I want to focus on and just really keep things in the front of mind. Because if you're not looking at them daily or weekly, really, it's very easy to get distracted and to fall off track. So it's just very important to know what you want and to remind yourself of that every single day. So before we start setting the actual goals, it's really important to understand what your goals are because a lot of times we might think we know what we want, but we don't really know what we want. So I think identifying what you want is the first step. And I did a recent video on the life balance wheel. So if you guys can pull that up and check it out, it definitely is a great reminder of the ways to just get to know yourself and to understand what you want. But for me personally, what I like to do is just identify the different areas of my life that I want to focus focus on and really set those targets of what I want to achieve and map it out that way. So I would start with each area one at a time and map out like one to two to three goals max and per area because you don't want to overwhelm yourself. And that's why for me personally, and I mentioned this in my previous video on the life balance wheel, I do recommend focusing on two to three areas max at a time. You can still have other goals in other areas, but they're not going to be your primary focus. Like I think 
think you need one, two, three max primary areas of focus at a given time just to really be able to focus and master that specific area, um, especially if it's the area where you scored the least on the life balance wheel and you feel like it's the area that needs your attention the most. So I first start with one category and like you could start with something like, you know, health is always a great one to, to share because I think all of us can relate and I think no matter how strong and fit you are like every single one of us have room to improve when it comes to health and fitness unless you are you know working in that industry but i think just an average human especially with the way the world is today and like just our lifestyles are so unhealthy it's really important that all of us have health and wellness goals so you start with that specific category of your life and just ask yourself what do you want and map it out say like if i was to have a 10 out of 10 in this area of life like what would my life look like and then you kind of ask yourself and you need to be brutally honest and ask yourself like where are you now and then you kind of map out the gap like you know what is it that you need to be to be the happiest you could be or the most content you could be with that specific area with fitness for example it could be something like like a specific weight goal, a body fat percentage. It could be like, you know, a, some sort of target for fitness levels. Like you want to run a 10K within a specific time frame, lifting a specific amount of weights, body mass indexes and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different metrics for us to, to measure, you know, specific areas of our lives, but map that out and put it down on your notes or a piece of paper and get really, really, really specific. So I just wanna remind you guys of something you probably have heard before, and that is to make sure that your goals are SMART. That stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Framed or Time-Based. So it's really important to make sure you get in all the details, you make sure that there's something that you can actually measure. Those. So that's something like, you know, putting in you know, if we, we're gonna take health and fitness as an example, like putting in the weight you want to have or the fat percentage you wanna have, make sure it's something that's actually realistic and attainable because you don't wanna put something that you can't achieve, otherwise it's super demotivating. And make sure they're super relevant, like they align with your goals and your values and it's something that you really do want and make sure that your goals have a time frame on them because if you don't have, you know, a time frame for when you want to achieve these goals it's really going to be super demotivating and you're probably not going to get there very fast because you don't have something holding you accountable to achieving it in time so it's very important to make sure that you have these elements in all areas of your goals so the next part is to really create an action plan so you have your goals and this is what i normally do is i put it on like my notes or my papers and i put my goal at the top and then below that, I kind of really map things out to understand how am I going to achieve that specific goal. And I did really feel like it's helped me a lot to create multiple ideas of ways to achieve one goal. So for example, you know, I'm not sure if you guys have seen my like sort of fitness transformation back in 2018. I did, you know, within one year, I actually, was, it was less than a year. I, I think it was like nine months. I lost over 35 pounds and I got down to a super lean fat percentage. So I went from being somewhere around, I think 28% body fat to 17% body fat in only nine months. So it was really, and it was really challenging for me because I personally, do struggle with my weight and I struggle to lose weight. But what I did is I really mapped out like all different types of ways that I could really reduce my fat percentage and also get my fitness levels up. So I studied online and I was like, what are all the different ways people can can lose weight and I was like obviously you know we need to change the diet so I was like what would be the most effective diet plan for me and that's why I ended up going with keto you know from my own research I saw that a lot of people were losing weight faster than many other diets and it worked for me and that's something where you know just make sure that this strategy is relevant to you and your needs and then secondly I mapped out all the different ways to just increase my fitness level so lots of exercise I was training seven days a week adding in cardio at every time possible just trying to stay super active throughout the day eating foods that would boost my metabolism and really just trying to identify every single area to try and make this goal happen as as fast as possible in the healthiest ways as possible as well 
So I'm just sharing with you guys one example. I mean, we could talk about many different areas and like all types of goals that I've had before, but I just feel like this is probably the one that's most relatable to everyone. I also, during this transformation, it was not only about losing fat, it was like getting super healthy. So I, on a daily basis, was drinking bone broth because I really wanted to focus on my gut health. I also drank kombucha daily, ginger tea three times a day. I had a lot of digestive problems, so I really was focusing on a whole wellness plan. I was doing yoga regularly I was also doing all kinds of things like I did breathing sessions like I was really just digging deep into all the areas of wellness and making sure I tackled it as much as possible getting massages um, I really put myself on a crazy plan and that was my number one priority for about one year like I was like before anything else it's gonna be my health first because that was my area of focus it was the area where I felt I had the most neglect when I did my life balance wheel so I was like this is the area I'm gonna master for this time frame in my life and I really did that and the results were there it was really incredible to see you know how things really do come together when you have a plan and when I was trying to go through this weight loss, you know, fitness evolution transformation, I actually mapped out my weight by two week bracket. So every two weeks I had measured what I wanted to hit in terms of weight loss. And I actually hit it almost to the T. It was almost scary how much this like, this plan that I had just came into play and how much it worked. It almost like freaked me out. I was like, this is so crazy how like really when you get so granular and you really get into the details and you map things out super well and you organize yourself, you really can make things happen. It's, it's magical. I'm like, while I'm saying this, I'm like, why don't I do this again? Cause I've kind of, you know, lost track and gained a a little bit of weight recently but um yeah I need to map it out because when you map things out it really does help make things super easy to understand and super crystal clear and it just makes things happen so much faster I really feel like when it comes to goals like half of it is just setting it putting it on paper and writing it out that's like half of the work the other half is actually executing it but the first half is like knowing what you want identifying it writing it down and putting it on paper and holding yourself accountable to something by having a plan i know this was a super quick video i hope in some way i shared something new with you guys i know there's you know so much around goal setting and we could actually talk about this a lot and if you guys want me to share more ideas and more tips comment down below so i can prepare another video for you guys and we can talk about other categories if you'd like to i mean i've done it in every area of my life honestly like every single area from the life balance will put the wheel up again for you guys but really there's not a single area in your life where you can't put together goals and plans and really just make things happen and really create the life you want to to live if you take anything out of this video please remember that your life is really in your hands and you can create the most beautiful life you want you just have to put the work in and have the discipline and also have the faith in yourself and in god the universe whatever you believe anything is possible and before we sign off, I also want to remind you guys that it's also super important to make sure that you are checking in on yourself and keeping track and measuring your goals. Ideally on a weekly basis, if not daily, you can check in with yourself. But if daily is too much, I completely understand it's a lot. Maybe you pick one goal to measure daily, like the most important one to you. You measure daily, but everything else you can do on a weekly basis and monthly basis. But just try to make sure that you're keeping yourself on track. The more you check in with yourself, the more obsessed you are with your goals the more likely you're gonna make it happen and I really do want all your dreams to come true it would make me so happy to see all of you guys feel so happy and fulfilled and content so I really hope you're able to use some of this to make what you want to happen and trust me I wish I could share with you guys all the experiences I've had that have really creeped me out from how fast and magical things happen when you really do apply yourself it really is amazing I mean I think it's partially like you know using that the power of the law of attraction and manifesting like the more you think about something the more you're likely to bring it into life like you know I have this book with me always on my table because it's a reminder you know the power of your subconscious mind it really is real like it really is real but you also have to do the work like you can't just manifest you've got to put in the work and plan and and put in the effort and create goals so I really hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video and please again like comment down below if you want me to speak more on this topic and if there's anything specific you guys want me to focus on in terms of like life categories whether it's like health spirituality career finances home love whatever it is family friends whatever just let me know the area you want me to focus on and I promise you I'll try to make another video specifically for what you
you guys want to learn about. And as always, I'd like to end this video with a quote of the day. And for today, the quote is, goals are nothing but dreams with a deadline. And I completely believe in that. It's so real. Honestly, guys, just put your dreams out there, put some deadlines, and you will make it happen. I love you all so much. Stay happy, stay safe, stay loved, and I hope you all make your dreams come true. I love you so much. Mwah.